What's up, people? Welcome back to my channel. This is your boy CK. If you are new here, thanks for stopping by. If you are a returning viewer, you are welcome. Please, if you've not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell notification so that you receive a notification each time we release a new video. Today, Today, let's take a look at Nigerian news that broke out during the week and also we look at the entertainment section and uh, a few here and there around the world. First on the list, FAN official. FAN is Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria. An official of FAN, Ramatu Luka, arrested for stealing $600 from a pilgrim's bag at Yola Airport. Last week I talked about a, an Air Force man that returned $37,000 he found in Kano Market and he was double promoted. But this week, Ramatu Luka has been arrested for stealing $600. I believe Ramatu heard about the young man that returned $37,000 last week. This week, she now decided to steal just $600, and that has gotten her arrested, and probably she might be losing her job. On number two, President Muhammadu Buhari's work certificate and also his secondary school photographs have surfaced online as WAEC, the West African Examination Council, confirms his certificate. This may put to rest the doubts and the arguments about Mr. Buhari's certificate, if he's qualified or not. FG said to install CCTV along highways and monitor the bushes using era drums to curb insecurity and to tighten security in the country. This is a welcome development. Herbalist who raped and impregnated his daughter backs 21 years jail term without fine option. <laughs> this will serve as a warning for those who indulge in showing negative affections or having negative feelings towards their daughters. Like I used to sell here or like I always say here, your daughter is your flesh and your blood. And besides, you don't have any reason to Start looking at teenage girls with negative eyes or having negative feelings or devilish feelings for teenage girls. The Northern Governors Forum banned headsmen from carrying arms. Kudos to them. Woman blames devil for pouring boiling water on her 13 years old daughter in Lagos. And she blames the devil for pouring boiling water on her daughter, on her own daughter. Man in prison for money laundering dupes fellow inmate of $37,800 while in prison. He still finds way to dupe another person and he's in prison for money laundering. I believe crime runs in this guy's blood. Dino Melaye says that he will contest for Nigerian presidency in the next eight years. Well, it's a, it's a good ambition. It's a tall dream. I believe he, if he can work to achieve it, that would be nice. A monarch in Nasarawa that was kidnapped sometime in the past and uh, his relatives gathered about 600,000 Naira as ransom for his release, spotted one of his kidnappers in an eatery where he went to eat in Nasarawa. The guy was uh, apprehended by well-meaning Nigerians and he is cooling off in the police net right now. <laughs> Let's move on. Final on the Nigerian news today. The Imo State Government awards scholarships to the two best students in Wayek as they both hail from Imo State. Please, a round of applause for Imo State and congratulations to the recipient. Kudos to the state government. Now on entertainment. Big Brother Niger introduces two new housemates, NK and Joe. Bonner Boy says he will raise a child with his girlfriend, Steph London. That is maybe a wedding alert or 
Baby mama alert. Cock shaped body doesn't make you smart, says Daniela Okeke to the ladies. This is an advice. Ladies, listen to Daniela Okeke. She said that cock shaped body doesn't make you smart. Heartbroken man arrested after destroying church altar because his lover, a prophet, has dumped him. Heartbreak. Couple who met on internet set to wed after five years. Congratulations to them. Reno Mokri says, how can you propose to a girl with no job? Yet she wears $300 hairstyle. This is an advice to men. David Otops Nigerians on Instagram reach list 2019. David O said to announce his wedding date with his girlfriend Choma. Still on David Blow My Mind, a new song David o released recently featuring Chris Brown. Hit 1 million views just 11 hours after its release. Congratulations, Davido. Iyanya and Ubi Franklin took 60% of my income, says Techno. Hush Poopy, Hush, hush, pop, hush Poopy, Hush Poopy says many rich kids now work under CEOs who were poor kids. Regina Daniel tells Mr. Ned, working her husband, that she loves him so, so much. That's a video that is circulating online. And according to her expression in that video, I don't know. You you can judge. And they also shared their vacation pictures online, which is below this information. Now let's look at the world news. A woman, 23 years old, killed her two children because they didn't let her enjoy adult games. British government declares Turkish bee wanted. I've thought about this. I tried to understand the kind of bee this could be. Maybe they are, they are those that do boom. Botswana citizens do not need visas to stay in the UK. The UK, the British government or the British or Britain colonized Nigeria. But for a Nigerian to step foot on a British soil is like seeking a visa to the heavens. Why is it so for us? When will Nigerians enjoy such freedom? My dear friends, this is where we draw the curtain today. Please subscribe to our channel. Drop your comment in the comment section below so, so that we'll know your thoughts. Like this video, share with your friends and families. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace and love.